So, let me just try to catch you guys up to speed if you haven't been following the Trackmania Anarchy product. This started 20 days ago when uh, Purebred Meat posted Trackmania Anarchy Day 1. A start gate has been placed in the center of the stadium. The most upvoted comment in the next 24 hours chooses the next piece. Top comment was a Zeppelin. So then you go to the next day and oh, the Zeppelin has flown into the stadium. Next piece, right? And then why dirt turn? And it kept going like this. There was a uh, a picture of me in a maid outfit got uploaded as the most popular choice of that day. Even even they added my legs, white tubes for virtual <laughs> legs. They, they did this for 20 days and it turned into utter chaos. This is Trackmania if it was built in pure anarchy format. Let us check what this is all about. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I should be. How bad could it be? Day one, a Zeppelin. Day two, <laughs> the wide dirt turn. Day three, a panel with virtual and a maid costume. So this is me. Uh, if I was a maid on a picture on a Trek mini map. Uh, virtual feet picture. <coughs> booster bobs, reactor booster bobsleigh. I gotta look at this one. A crowd of people along the way because of vehicular mass murder. All right, I just wanna let authorities know that this man is out there. Uh, and he wanted this to be placed, but not only him, like everyone else who uploaded this. The cacti here could have been placed way worse. So far, this map is not too bad. Looks like we'll have to go again. Dude, it's like, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm, s I'm. This is like the, um, the trolley problem. Do you go out of your way if it means to kill less spectators, even though it's a slower line? If you lose 10 hundredths of a second, do you really go out of your way? So what happened here? I just want you to know, this is the most famous Trackmania map. AO1 race um, recreated. It's the first game of Nations Forever. And then someone said, add a bunch of cacti to it. That, that, that is what has happened here. They built AO1 and then covered it in cacti. Which is a uh, abomination. We survived. What's this? What's this? What's this? Magnet at the bottom of AO1 that needs to be driven upside down all the way back to the start of AO1. Okay. Oh, we have a nice, we have a nice view from here. The scenic route. If I see anyone in the knockout race, stop here before going forwards, you are getting banned in chat, okay? If you decide to stop on the magnet instead of playing the tournament competitively, you are getting banned. You have no time to admire the view, okay? Just keep driving. Don't look out to the sides. Keep your eyes on the road at all times. Joy. No, this is not joy. It's just a bunch of emojis. McDonald's arches that are drivable. That's very creative with this. Very creative. There's like five days left to drive. Long straight road. Make it go out of the map. <sighs> okay. Well, that was fun. That was <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna do... Uh uh, do some ranked or something. I don't know. Oh my god. How? I would laugh at the clip of Carl Jr. crashing one of these and think I would never fall for it. Not me. I am not that stupid. Okay. We're back to where we left off. Time to unveil my evil plan. Okay, what do we have? I just got double baited. I just got double faded and it's my own face. I reset so I can start off with a clear mind. That's just not, it's just not very nice of the mapper. It ends with agility dash, by the way. 
The ending of the map is just agility dash from the competitive league. And Virgil hitting the bounds, not getting the finish right, but he goes for a respawn, gets the clip. Can he hold on to his lead right now and secure an ace for his team? Incredible. Nice. Maybe a sub two minute time is possible. I was thinking about shortcuts. There's only two tactics in the start, but I don't think you can skip them. Like skip further into the map. Because sometimes what happens when you place a lot of ring checkpoints and not enough stationary checkpoints is that people will just go on a ring hunting spree. Like from a top checkpoint like this one with a lot of boosters, you would just drop down to several rings in a row, pick them up and then go. <laughs> okay, let's just get to the finish. Let's just see what we can get, even with the mistakes. I've lost like 10 seconds in the start. Okay. The Magnus is a little bit weird to me. There's a gap. Oh, oh, there's a gap. It's so tempting to just full send, like, no regard for safety and just land there, but it obviously will not work. We're driving the full McDonald's. Okay, all we care about is the bottom timer. We don't care about the top one at all right now. Just the bottom. It's freebling ice. <laughs> this map, man. And it ends with agility dash. Okay, okay. If I can gain 10 seconds in the start, then I can beat the alpha time. He made it quite easy. He did make the identity entity quite easy. Okay, let's try to prevent hitting any spectators. I think I made it. Someone's gonna need to check the tapes, but I don't think I hit any single spectator. Beautiful. That's like eight and yeah, I could probably gain like 12, honestly. Probably like four or five more seconds to gain there. Now we're nine seconds ahead. It's the 10th. And then it's this. So I gotta slow down a lot here. Ah, uh, that was a bit bad. Okay, what do I do for this though? Just wall bang? That's pretty good. Nope, too fast. For now, one second behind all time. Still low, pretty solid, but you can definitely do sub two. Okay, let me try the strategy. So I wanna go here. Oh my God, clean. I gotta release here. Watch out for that one, good. That's a good start. Okay. I'm gonna be too fast. I have to slow down already. Oh. Again, pretty good pipes. No. Dude, I got the engine off with like the worst angle as well. What pace will this be? 205. 
<laughs> you can you can probably sub to this. Okay, I'm sending it. Full speed, full speed, full speed. I'm pretty sure you can go full speed through this. Like, I'm still ahead. Wow, I should not be ahead, but I am. So many tough parts in this though, like, barely surviving there. Oh, watch out. Good. Two seconds ahead. Still not really a great start. With what I now know of this map, I can be so much faster. <laughs> okay. Oh, there might be another small skip there. Um, I just saw. Try to release in time, try to not hit the roof. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the reactor on the inside and go... Full speed. That is a good strategy. 206. Do we go for sub two? I think we can definitely get a sub two here. You can get a you can get like a second in the start already, which is low air time. Like this is so high up. You kind of just have to hit it with one wheel. Yeah, that seems to be the strategy. Okay, I gotta slow down here. Thanks for playing the map. It's approaching Crazy pace. Smile. Norris gives us the mapper, thank you so much. For the TTS, I appreciate it. Oh no! I was too fast in the entry. I had to release a little bit to get the lineup. Oh man. That was a 20096 no response. Good run. No wait, oh it's fine. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Slow down. World record? Still not the sub two though. Pretty good. I got the world record back, but oh, dude, that's so close to the sub two. And that had a lot of crashes. That 202 felt so like, not underwhelming, cause it was a good run, but like, it was, it's like building a nice pyramid, but not placing the lime, the beautiful two row limestone capstone on top. You know, he's in deep when he knows the type of limestone. Yeah, it's easy to explain the Tura limestone, but it's kind of harder to explain the Aspen granite. Because it's a denser rock material, and also they had to transport it from 900 kilometers away. I heard this really convincing theory that Enderman built the pyramid, and it satisfies my curiosity. Okay, so a bit more on the right side. Oh, I could have just gone full right here, I think. Yeah. Full right there. I mean, I'm first gonna try the full skip. I'm first gonna try a normal skip. There's a stereotype in Trek Mania that with a terrible run, you get the perfect shortcut. And it's always true. <laughs> no! 
Uh, are you serious? I skipped the engine off. Wait. Wait. I missed the... Okay, if I didn't miss the reactor, this was seriously a fast ending. I fear that someone has beaten my record already. I fear there's a new world record. Oh, no, yeah. So I gained like four seconds back. Are you so lucky and unlucky? It's just that when you're behind, you dare to risk that. When you're ahead, it feels so scary all of a sudden. Something in the start, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know what it is, but I'm doing it wrong. Because the amount of times I've survived that bobsleigh has just gone down and down and down, down and down. Pretty good start. That's pretty solid. Oh, I just released a lot. Okay, well, guess that kind of works. Wasn't too slow. So I had a plan there, and the plan was, let's set up for the ice slide angle immediately, like this. But what I did not take into account is reactor booster ice slides are very different than regular ice slides. And if you just accelerate even for a pixel, uh, you go right off the edge. Else, this would have been the sub two. That would have been sick. Okay, shortcut. Just get it perfect. I'm not asking for much. Just do it perfectly. We got a no drift. No drift. Dude, that is so sick. Imagine. That was a good ending. Just imagine. Imagine the endless potential. No, it's gonna crash something. Yeah, there's one over there. Okay, I dodged it. Good. This is better than the previous. I think. I was thinking I just slow down too much there every time. Okay, just have to go for it. Good speed, good speed. Minus three already. Now the skip. If the skip lands. If the skip lands. This guy's Sigma is good. An anonymous user gifted a tier 1 sub to work to this park. Oh my god! Holy shit, what a skip! What the hell, the man? Corny had a 158. We got a 154. Dude, I was sweating at the end there. <laughs> that saved me five seconds or so. Dude, so sometimes you just go for things like that, just with the faintest hope that what if it works perfectly. And it did. Guys, look at this. This is the, this is the skip. This guy Sigma is <laughs> That was rad. You should treat yourself to some sticky toffee. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh.